Hello everyone, this is Larry and you're watching St. Nick's Farms on YouTube and here I am today in Canton, Tennessee and uh, what we're doing here in Canton is uh, helping with some of the uh, uh, cleanup from Hurricane Helene and uh, we're up here with a, a uh, nine member team from our church and this is this is kind of the, the intro and then uh, the ending uh, also to the video but uh, just going to show you a little bit what we've been doing and what we've been working on over the past couple of days we will be leaving out tomorrow uh, headed back to Alabama and it's been a really good and uh, really it has been an enjoyable time to help uh, these folks up here we've been staying here at the Bethel Baptist Church and then we'll go we've been going down every day and working at the Bethel Christian Academy and uh, so you'll see some of that in the video and again this will serve as the uh, the end to this video also uh, because uh, we didn't really have time to do an effective intro to it and then and then do an ending to it so uh, I hope you enjoy the video if you do be sure to give us a thumbs up don't forget to share it with a friend, and uh, as always, I would be honored if you would subscribe to our channel. So, uh, let's get started, and uh, then in a little bit, you'll see the ending. Thank you. 
It's uh, 7.17 local time and we're, we've come down to downtown Canton, North Carolina and this downtown area is a lot different than where we're staying out at the church that we've came up, we have come up to. Uh, but this whole area here, this, this is the river that, that flooded this whole area and all this area is basically underwater. This is the school. Um, happens to be a Christian school that we're going to be working in tomorrow. So, uh, uh, another thing we're going to be doing is there's one down, there's a back one down there in the bathroom here. And I, I, wanna, I don't know if they started back <laughs> Like walking through eight hands. Uh, there's one down yonder the same way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, eight a hand. Oh, That's what I was coming at. Eight a I've got the window company coming tomorrow too. I'm going to give me some quotes on, on fixing the windows. So there's going to be several crews here tomorrow, including us? Uh, I don't know. Right, I got it. I don't know who's going to be here. Uh, I'll have the bat on the wall. Hey, let me tell you. We had a guy come. We had a guy come in and freehand with that. Really? Freehand. I got you shooter. <laughs> no. Oh, Put this place together. Legion side school. There's only like one or two other high schools in Western North Carolina. This is Legion side school. Lighting's right. Lighting. College line. Got the college line on it. And, uh, there you go. There you go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Mr. Larry getting started. Good morning. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Yeah. This is the lower floor hallway. All of this area was underwater up to the First floor level. Mr. Bobby, Chairman of the Deacons. You can see, Mr. Bobby told me that the mud was about four inches deep. He used a skid steer, uh, actually a mini skid steer in here to clean this mud out. These guys, what they're doing is taking down the track of the su suspended ceiling because the engineers have instructed them that we're going, they're going back up to the concrete and not have any ceiling, uh, any suspended ceiling in this area here. Taking wires out of the top here and just uh, peek into the restrooms. can see see the mud and all on the floor and the mud these these labs are completely full of mud on the mirrors and you can see around the, around the walls
Okay, here I am with Brother Jeremy, our pastor, and uh, what's, what's your thought, what's your initial impression, and now that we've been working for a day, Brother Jeremy, what, tell me what you think. First of all, walking in, you, you seem like it's overwhelming, and you're wondering how in the world are they going to be able to do this? But then you, you start seeing the resiliency of the people, and you realize they're, they're just like we are back in Alabama. They're just hard workers who see something before them and no task is too great for them and they're ready to just they got a vision and that's that's what's awesome is uh, they want to be back in here hopefully by christmas and uh, it's gonna be a lot of work but one thing i've learned about all these folks from north carolina is they they're not afraid of work one of the first things that always comes to mind when i see something like this happen is which stick do we pick up first right where do you begin? Yeah, where do you begin? Where do you begin? Yeah. Where do you end? Uh, just, we're, uh, but then you start seeing the little projects just start being completed. And then you start saying, hey, this can be done. This can be back even better than what it was before. So, a lot of work. Probably in the background, you can hear the uh, noise of the pressure washer. And there's little Maggie running that pressure she washer. Is. This she morning. is. How old is Maggie? Fifteen. Fifteen. So, not afraid of work. Yes, and so that's that's what it's all about. And and I just in the day and half that we've been here so far, have just seen how this thing is, like you said, how it's begun to uh, kind of come together, and uh, it it's not over. And you know, we'll go back home to our houses and everything and these folks will stay in the world over the next few days. I don't care what it is, whether it's farming, a natural disaster, or just a hobby. Tractors play a big part in our lives and what we do and there's a gentleman who's come down and has volunteered his little Massey Ferguson to move some material here at the uh, at the school, I wanted to go down and see if I can get a little bit of video on him moving that material around. On my way around, I just want to uh, get a quick video of the mud that came out of the school itself. This was this was mud from on the floor of the first floor of the of the school. And you can see um, out here where where they were dumping in this area here, um, the mud is about I would say it's two foot deep in that area, and um, this all came out of the school down on the first floor. Then we come on over here and we can see the ball field, the baseball field, and it is um, covered, I mean it's it's just solid mud. And then look over toward the uh, backstop and it's it is down, uh, about halfway down. Some of it's actually down over on the distance. And then the, the dugouts, and you look out across the uh, the infield areas again here in the outfield just uh, I don't know how thick it is but it's a pretty thick layer of mud and I don't know what the white thing is out there I can't make out just exactly what that is but the water basically came to where that line of cars is up there and even though the river is on this side over here of the school according to some of the uh, locals here the river actually uh, changed directions and come down in this direction across through here and across this side of the school itself well I was going to get some video of the gentleman uh, on, on this little Master Ferguson but he has uh, I think he's gone in. Maybe uh, it is lunchtime, and everybody's been inside. This little 
That's Ferguson with a 1016 loader on the front end. Uh, looks like it has been used a lot and not necessarily abused, but used and probably enjoyed over its lifetime so far. This is this is this is Bobby and Bobby and his wife Nancy have basically been our host here this weekend. Really good folks. Loading up and getting ready to go. Oh, no, I've never, I've never wheeled it. I ain't never done it. Before, so I oh, you're getting your Up in the distance here you can see the river uh, that comes down through these fields and you can see the uh, in the distance there you can see where the uh, debris and what have you so all of this area here was underwater uh, over my head where I'm standing and on this side uh, this field here fortunately they had harvested their crops off of it and uh, and yet, you can see the amount of mud, dirt, and debris, and what have you, that's uh, still in the field. So, it's going to take some time for everything to recover, and uh, it's just a matter, just a matter of time for these good folks up here in uh, North Carolina. Some more of the work that we're doing here at the church. What we're doing in this area is taking the paneling off and I think they will be converting, they will be converting this to a outside pavilion 